Good afternoon, Internet. My name is Jeff Pontifex, and this is Smash or Pass. The premise is simple, and we all know it instinctively. Would I smash, or wouldn't I? Let's get started. Orga. I, um, I'm just kind of a blobby creature. Like, there's not really anything there to identify in good ways or bad ways. Your skin looks... Like, I don't know. I don't know what your skin reminds me of, but it reminds me of something, and it's not something that I want touching me. That's all I can rationalize out of my thoughts right now. Yeah, there's... No. I will pass. Rock Critters. It's not, of course. But this feels like it should be like a screen cap from a Pixar film, you know? Does anyone else get that vibe? Because I kind of get that vibe. Maybe it's just me. Um... No. No, too rocky. Too rocky, too crittery. Yeah, pass. Rodan. Think you're just supposed to be a big pterodactyl kind of thing? Hmm, I'm not sure. You don't look nearly as rough in texture as many of the others. However, I'm a little worried that, kind of like a bird, you'll want to do it in mid-air as we fall. And that idea terrifies me because, um, well, I can't fly. I don't know if you all knew that. You can't really see me in this particular medium, but I don't have wings. I mean, technically, I've got wings, because my mom says I'm a little angel. So I suppose I have angel wings. But I don't have flappy, flappy, don't hit the ground kind of wings, you know? So that mid-air coitus would become problematic very quickly. Exhilarating. Very exhilarating for a brief period of time sensation like none other maybe if i got a parachute like we start up high enough and i get a parachute with enough time to deploy afterwards Ooh, talk about working under a time crunch you know you think you've got pressure to perform you gotta finish the gig before that little dial on your wrist says hey pull your parachute or you're gonna die motherfucker if i can have a parachute then yes smash sila you're just a giant parasite creature. Ugh. No, 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 no. No, pass. Servum. Okay, Servum looks like either one of two things to me. Either Servum hasn't fully rendered and loaded into the video game because my computer doesn't have the processing power. And as it gets closer, I'll get more texture and details. Or, Seraphim looks like like a half-finished 3D project on their computer. And they're like, hey, look what I'm working on. And they're like, that's cool. What's it going to be? And they're like, I don't want to tell you yet. You'll find out when it's finished. That's what Seraphim looks like. And I've never seen a partially rendered creature that I'm like, man, yes, please. And I'm not going to start now. Pass. Skull Crawler. All right, now that is an intimidating and evocative name. So bonus points for that. Your skin looks just gritty. Just very gritty. On the other hand, that's such a good name. I think on the name alone, I'm going to say, yeah, smash. Tiamat. Uh, sorry, ma'am. I've been playing D&D for 25 years. I'm familiar with you. Uh, pass. And that's going to be a big pass. Titanosaurus. If that other fella was, we've got Godzilla at home, then this one is... I've never done arts and crafts before, but I could probably make that at home. 
Godzilla. It's bad. They put this in a film on purpose? Like, an art director looked at this and went, Yep, put that thing in front of the camera. And the camera operator said, Okay, and hit record. And all these things happened and no one stopped it? That is a catastrophe. It's an utter catastrophe. And I shouldn't blame Titanosaurus for all the mistakes of the humans. I shouldn't. But I will. Pass. Varan. Varan looks like someone photoshopped out the piece of fishing line taped to its back as they dangled it from a tree limb and went, Hey, look, it's flying. Like, I know this era in film did not always have the best special effects in the world. It is an ongoing, evolving art. I get that. This is real bad. I think it is unforgivably bad. Pass. Warbat. Now that's a good name. It sounds somehow silly yet intimidating at the same time. Um. Hmm. Again, we have the issue with the scares and the texture and the impenetrableness. However, part of me kind of wants to say yes just because. I don't know why. Maybe it's because if I do a good job, I'll get to go for a ride. And I wouldn't mind taking a flight on Warbat. Yeah, I'm going to go with that logic because I can't think of any other way to express my feeling. Smash. Zilla. All right. It took me a while to figure out how to how to say this, but I think I figured it out. I'm sure you've seen online where a professional artist takes a children's drawing or something and tries to redo it in a professional manner while maintaining the spirit of the child's drawing. You've all seen that. This looks like a kid drew Godzilla. Then an adult, but has never heard of Godzilla, attempted to recreate what Godzilla ought to be based only on the child's drawing. That's what that looks like. Pass. Alright, that's enough for now. If you've watched this long, you're just as weird as I am, so don't judge me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.